Three AA semifinals, Region 9 rivals Dixie and Pineview. Both teams combined for 49 first half points. Dixie strikes first on a 41-yard touchdown pass from Ammon to Cow to Brett Barbin. Pineview answers with four minutes left in the first quarter. A one-yard run by Pano Tia Tia. They led 14-7 after one. The Flyers would outscore the Panthers 21-7 in the second quarter. Another big pass play by Takao and Barbin. He caught it with one hand. It's a 52-yard touchdown, and the game is tied. Definitely worth another look. That's almost Sports Center top 10 worthy. Pineview tries to answer. Willstead thinking big, but he's picked off by R.J. Wilger, who makes a great play to get one foot inbound for the interception. On the very next play from their two-yard line, Trenton Miller takes the handoff, and he's not even touched. He goes 98 yards for a touchdown, giving the Dixie Flyers a 21-14 lead. Pineview bounces back with an 11-play, 80-yard drive. Tia Tia had 200 yards rushing in the game. His score helps Pineview tie it up at 21. Now less than two minutes left in the game. Time for Dixie to put points on the board. What a catch by McLean Keenan. Somehow held on to that one. It helps set up this for the third time in the half. Takao is going to find Barbin for a touchdown. 28-21 Dixie. Both teams combined for 600 yards of offense in the first half. Snow would slow down both offenses in the second half. Pineview would tie it in the third thanks to a five-yard scramble by Willstead for the touchdown. Dixie's quarterback would match him minutes later. Ammon Takao with an eight-yard touchdown run to give the lead back to the Flyers. Pineview would drive down to the one in the fourth quarter, but on fourth down, the Dixie defense keeps them out of the end zone. They intercepted Willstead twice in the fourth, and the Flyers are back in the 3AA state championship game with a 38-28 win over their rivals. You know, we stressed all week we can't come out with the same intensity that we did last week. We've got to play hard the whole game and come out ready to roll and fire it up and play hard. And, you know, we're playing Pineview, the crosstown rival. That helps. So I think the kids are ready to go from the start today.